Good morning everyone. I'm doing my Roxy's weekly challenge and I can't remember what week it is. Is it 12? Something like that. So um, today we're going to have a play with some bags and little antique dictionary page and stamps and just have a bit of fun making these. So and they're going to have a flip. So um, I'll put my timer on. 45 minutes it's just the timer is just for me to have a bit of fun so i'm going to do these bags now this is a little bit long so i'm going to fold it down i'll prepare maybe i'll prepare three i need to change my my paper because it's dirty okay and i've got i don't know how i've got a mess here because i tidied up and my table was clear but now i'm in a mess right so i'm just going to glue these down a little bit I'll just do three and we'll have some glassine bags. Now, the glassine bags, they don't have a nice big long one like this, do they? So, um, hmm, I have to think about them for a second. Maybe we'll just do the brown ones. Let's just get that going there like that. Well, I'll prepare four and then we'll see how we go. Okay, and then that folds down like so. Right, and we're going to attach that. Now, there's not much to attach there, so these might not work. Unless I trim them down just a little bit. Let's just try one and see how it works. I could trim. I'm probably thinking I'm terrible, but I'm going to trim a little bit off. Okay, we'll see how this one works. And then that will be my fold over. Like so. Okay, we'll try these. The next thing I'll need are my book pages. And they'll have to be trimmed down a little bit, I think, for especially for the brown bag. So I need five. Mm. Actually, I just saw I've got some here. Silly me. Okay. Right, put those aside. Put these over here. Put them, goodness me, what is she doing? So what I'm going to do is just <coughs> measure... Here like this and then flip it over and put a pencil mark there and it's kind of crooked the book there and then I'm just going to get them all together except for maybe this one's bigger let's just have a look so that's going to be pretty much I just have to trim a tiny bit off for that one but these ones I can trim all the same. So I just grab my trimmer. I'm thinking, what is she doing? You'll see. Oh, now where's my one with the marking? I thought I had that at the back, but I obviously didn't. Obviously not. I did, but I had it round the wrong way. I put it on the front. Okay. So... We'll trim this one off first. And then, it's fairly simple. It's a very simple idea what I'm doing. It's nothing um, complex, but it's quite cute. And it could be cute. Well, if you've got a journal that will allow for it, like as in size, or it's cute for a happy mail, or to put inside the journal cover. So then what I'm going to do is glue these here. But I'm thinking, I did make myself a sample, but I'm thinking I might want to punch those. I want to put a hole in it. But then I have to be, then I have to know where I need to put my hole there. Well, I can draw it. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to put my holes in here, more or less in the center. So I've got my crocodile punch and I'm going to do it more or less in the center, I hope. 
and I'm going to punch a hole. Punch a hole. I probably could have put a few together, but then I have to line them all up. Punch a hole. And punch a hole. And then we'll do this one. This one's a little bit more annoying to do. Let's see. Excuse me. And there. Okay, so that's that. We're not going to put eyelets in instead, but we won't do that yet. We need to punch all our holes. Okay, so then we can get our piece of paper and we can line up. See, if I punched more than one together, then I could I could punch all the pieces of paper together, but I haven't done that, so I need to line up and put a little dot. Keep it with its thing and put a little dot where I'm going to put my hole. And I thought about reinforcing, like, you know, um, this is quite thin. Um, what's it called? Do I have two here? Yes. Um, it's quite thin um, dictionary page. But I thought, um, I quite like it. Doesn't That way it doesn't bulk it up too much. I like that it's kind of thin. So that, that's those. And then I need to do this one. There, and so that's where I know where to put my holes. So we'll go and put our holes in here. And the nice thing about the the um, crocodile is you can see you can kind of center it because they're thin pages. They would have been good to um, do all together, but I, that's not how I worked it out. So then I can glue these on to the flap. So what I need to do is I'll bring my bring my glue book over. Move this out of the way. We don't need that right this second. Um, we will need it again. So put my glue here. Make sure you put enough glue. Put line up the hole there. And glue it on. Oh, that one worked. There we go. And we've got our hole. Okay, good. So that's one. Do the same with this one. Line up your hole. So it's not too hard to do it that way. Okay. This is a fairly quick project. You could probably get quite a lot done if you were making many things, like many needed many. You could get quite a lot done, I think. That one. Oops. Let's turn this around because I'm getting all sticky now. I like these um, craft bags that they've got the long thing that you can have this option of folding it over like that. And then the glassine bag. So I did trim a little bit off the glassine bag, remember that. I need to remember that too because I forget. And now it's just sort of, there we go. And then we grab this one. Oh, 
Okay. That's those. And then what's next? What did I want to do next? I wanted to... I'll do that after. I want to stamp them. So we'll do that. Let's stamp them. I'm going to use all different stamps. And I'm going to use blue because I like the, the, the thought of blue on these book pages. So I've got this stamp here. This is a Makey stamp. M-A-K-I stamps on Etsy. They also have their own website. I think they offer a bit more different types of stamps on their own website. M-A-K-I stamps. So I'm going, well, I need to line it up straight. It's not straight on the thing. So you could stamp your pages before. I like doing it after. So I'm going to stamp that one with that one. We'll do them all differently. That's that one. Take that off. And now we'll do this one. Maybe I'll put, no, I don't want to put my ink on first. I'll get, I've already got ink all over my fingers. Put that on there. And... that's enough and I need to try and be straight so that's straight you probably can't see me I'm probably off screen but I'm just stamping okay that's that one. Oh, yes that turned out really well okay one two aren't they cute I'll move them up there so that way you can see what I'm doing oh there they are other book pages so we'll do this one and what will we use let's see what oh no that's going the wrong way I wanted to do an Easter one here we go We've got a cute Easter bunny I've, I don't think I've only stamped it ever once I think I might do the Easter bunny on this one though because that's slightly bigger that looks bigger to me so I might need something bigger make sure it's kind of straight okay oh cute oh isn't that cute oh, I'll have to do another one I've got this one but oh that one will be cute I think they're too small yes those ones I'll do another one of those because I really liked it. I mean, he's kind of Eastery, but he's not really because he doesn't have Easter eggs in his basket. He's just got a basket on his back. He's going somewhere. He's going to pick flowers or something. That one. And then this one. What are we going to do on this one? We could, well, what else do I have? I've got other big ones. Just let's have a look in here. What about this one? It's not quite big enough. I've got mushrooms. I've got this one. This might be too big. That would just fit. Or the mushrooms would be cool. Maybe I'll do the mushrooms. Let's do the mushrooms. Okay. Love these silicone drawers. Uh, honestly, I mean, did I hardly ever... Those who've been following me for a long time, have you noticed that I use my stamps more now? Anyway, this one's not quite as sticky anymore. I probably need to clean it clean off the the mount because you can buy them on makey stamps so they come just the red if you buy them if you buy them mounted they come with this on it i just bought the sheets of it separately and then uh, put it on myself and just cut around you just cut around it with your knife and um i don't know if i've got enough ink on that i could do it this way this is probably the better way to do it get a more better a better distribution of ink now because I'm not on top of my thing I, I see I've put a little bit too too much to the right that doesn't matter I'm faffing about that's what I'm doing oh look at that they are really the best stamps guys I love them oh if I remember I never remember I, I will link them in the description box now my next job is and I haven't 
I don't think I've mounted that one. I need to, oh yes I have, but it's not sticky anymore, like this one. Okay, um, so I'm just going to take this piece of paper off. I seem to be all over the place, but I, I'm really, I really do know what I'm doing. Okay, so I want, this is one of their script ones. I think it's back in stock. It, I think it was out of stock. And I'm just going to stamp. That was just my chair making a noise, not me. I'm going to stamp some coffee. I think this might be co it's coffee or tea. I can't remember which. So we're going to stamp it with this. Don't need too much. I'll just do two stamps of it. Might stamp it up on the book. And put that there. And I'll use this to press it down. Okay. One. Very nice stamp. Very nice stamp, this one. Okay. And I need to stamp it on this side. Actually, I want to stamp another one because that could look nice as well. Okay, that's that one. But I might stamp also this other one I have of theirs that I really like. The, the Naturalist. Le Nat I don't know how you say it. That one might stick. Yep. Put some ink on there. This one might look good too. I'll do a couple of those. Oops, crooked. Doesn't matter. I'm going to cut it out. Oops. Helps if you're up on your page. Okay. I'll, I'll stop mucking around with the stamps now. Okay. So, I might just cut this out like this for a minute. I'm going to get my, my cutter. I'll just cut that one off there because that's crooked. Okay, let's get the cutter. I'm going to cut that very close to the right in there. Cut that edge off. Oh, just a little bit of that off. Cut that little bit of that off. And then I'm going to cut them like so. It's probably a little bit more than half an inch. Even half an inch would be good. Just cut them. Cut this one a little bit there. Okay. So we don't need too many more than that. And we'll cut these so I can use these. Now that one's crooked. They're all crooked. So I'll just cut it like that. Now I'm going to have to go. I'll line it up like that. I'm looking at that line there to get to make it straight ish. We'll say straight ish. Line it up there like so. Trim that one. And then I'm going to use the line there to line it up kind of. leave that one I can I don't need all of these I only need one for each one now my other thing I need to do is I've got some Tim Holtz scrapbooking paper here and I'm just going to cut out I can't I, the only thing I don't like about this punch is you can't see where you're placing it it's quite an awkward punch to to use so you waste a bit of paper I might do a little bit of the ticking strike as well I'll do a bit a few more than what I need okay well, that's five. Oh, I like those flowers there. I'll do a couple of those. Okay. So, they 
and put all the stamps over there put all of those over there bring our glue book back these need to be glued in place so for example we've got to get our glue stick or whatever you like to use get a little bit of glue on there and just to reinforce the hole not that it really needs it because it's double but just makes it look pretty as well and I'll do the ticking side of that one That there so there's a few steps there are a few steps to it it's not super fast we'll do the scripty side on that one so you can sort of choose which side you want to use and we'll do this one I might use that there so the nice thing about the glassine bag is that it's transparent so you can see you could have put I could have put a little bit of washi tape or something there or another piece of paper and this one we might use the scripty side no the ticking stripe I think okay put the glue there and put that there okay just wipe my hands off so that's that now my next job is I want to put something inside and I have these pieces of paper from Aliexpress but I I included them in um, a kit because they're really cool and um, so I'll just what I thought was I'll just put a little piece in there like that might as well use them So you can really do whatever you want inside um, and then I need to find something to decorate it with so let me just see what I've got floating around anything of any interest here's a few things that sits here Got a butterfly I don't think I want a butterfly so you could put something like that there that there and I can't find my folder with my Tracy labels now that's a disaster isn't it although I do have a whole sheet here somewhere I think let me see no maybe I don't I thought I had a whole sheet here that I needed to cut up still oh no I don't okay well I need to find it so, where could I have put it? Oh, here it is. Found it. Yay. So, let me just have a look. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a credit. Oh, there's another thing I need to do as well. And I want to put a label there. I really do. Something like that. No, something bigger. Like that one. Um, no. They're all little there. Oh, I like the green one. Maybe the green. Oh, yes. No, not the green one. Oh, you all got excited. You thought I was making a decision, didn't you? Um, well, there's big ones here. Let's have a look. That's too big. Oh, come on, Rachel. Get on with it. Maybe that one. Okay, we'll trim it down. Like you can collage the bag as well if you want to. So it's basically got the dictionary or book page if you've got a little 
book or cut your book down. You'll have to cut your book down if you don't have a, the right size, more or less. Um, and then stamp on it. And then, and then what you do here is just whatever. Now, the other bit I needed to do that I haven't done yet is I want to... I want to snip a little bit out of here because these bags, it depends on your bag. These bags are very tight up the top. They're very close to, to where the where the flap folds down. So I want to just get that out of there. I want to do my semicircle there. And I'm also going to trim just a little bit off at an angle because that way you can get things in and out. Because they're very see they they come right up to almost to the crease, which makes it difficult. So that's that one. We'll put that one aside. And then we have this one. And you could put a little tab on the bottom. We might do that on one. Now this one, you could really not put too much on it in the sense that um, the glassine bag is transparent. And I've trimmed it down so you can you can see. I mean, you can easily get things in there. I was accidentally snipped that little bit off there. I'll have to put some glue there. Um, you don't really need to put much here, but we will put something. Um, I've also got this one's nice. No, I might use. Uh, let's see what I've got floating around here. This piece of paper. This will be nice. This is a nice colour. Tear this one down and put that there. I want those. Let's see what else I've got here. The blue bird. Let's cut the blue bird out. I can't find my scissors again. I bet they're in my tray here. Yes, they are. This is where I found them last time in my tray. I'm just going to cut this bird out and see if I might like the bird. I didn't ask you how you all are today. Did you have a lovely weekend? What you know? What's going on? How's the weather? Our weather's sunny but cold. But I'm going to enjoy it because then once the heat starts, then it can be really, you know, I'm hoping I'm hoping it doesn't sort of become hot really quickly because then I start to suffer. I'd like a nice long spring. I love spring. But then I don't like it when it starts to become hot. Okay, and I think I'm going to like the bird there. And I think I might like something just peeking out from behind it. Yes. Yes, I will. I do like it. I'm sure I do. I'm just going to slip. Yep, that's going to go under there. It is. As I always say, Tracy's labels are wonderful for botani botanical things. Just wonderful. Okay, and I'm going to put that there and have the bird. No, I'm going to have it there. No, down there. Okay. Well, the other option is, as I said, to leave the glassine bag plain because you'll be able to see the tag or whatever, the ephemera or whatever goes inside. Oops, I don't want to have to cut the beak off. Oh, slide it across. Thank goodness that you can manoeuvre with the glue stick. Oops, might lose a leg in a minute. Okay, 
Oh, I'll fold it round. I know you ladies like me to fold it around so it's not really chopped off. Okay, so this one is like that. Okay, that's done. Now this one. This one I'm going to do the quick job and add. I think I like, oh, I'm, I like this paper too. I'm going to add this one. So very simple. Nice way to use these little pieces of paper too. We really like that. And then uh, I think we want something botanical. I'll just put that there, but I would probably keep those bits. They're good for collaging. And let's just have a think here. What am I going to put there? Oh, I didn't trim this one down. Let's trim this one down. So I need to do my punch. I'm kind of eyeballing where the centre is. Let's get it out. There it is. And that's something you could do before, like you could streamline the whole process and do that beforehand. It just makes it easy to pull things in and out because, as I said, they're too tight. Too tight. Okay. You could leave it blank or... You can stamp something, like I could stamp a bunny there. I could put maybe a bit of paper and then stamp a bunny. Oh yes, that's a good idea. I'm going to stamp, the, uh, glue down this wonky piece of paper and I'm going to stamp the bunny. Put that there and stamp that. Take that off there. I'm going to do the blue stamp again, blue ink I should say. I haven't stamped this bunny for ages and I absolutely love it and I forgot about it. And then I pulled out the tray that had the bunnies in and there it was. And I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot about you. I think it's a jumping hare. Cute. Really cute. I love that. And that's that one. Okay. Now here. And let's do this bit. Oh, no, I might stick my pieces, piece of paper down. I'm going to use this one. Stick that there. Oh, I probably could have done that other step first. And do my little snip here so we don't forget. See, I'm not rushing, just taking my time. I mean, you could just leave it like that. You don't have to add any more. I'm just going to take those bits off. Like, you don't have to add any more, but I just like to put something shooting up the side. Let's see what flowers we have available to us. Oh. I like something blue. Something blue. Oh, there, well, there you go. But they're all little. I want something bigger. Like something like those. These would have been a good size. The other blue ones were too small. They're bigger. Oh, yes. One of those could be good. Or one of these. Let's just see what else there is. Um, a lot of yellow, isn't there? Okay, well, I could use one of those, or I was thinking that would be nice. Okay, let's tear it out. Um, scissors. I think I normally fussy more. Well, I might, no, I'm going to cut it. I was thinking I might fussy tear it, but I think I'll cut it. Let's 
So fun little thing to put in a journal, as I said, send it in a happy mail with something in there. Okay, so that, I think I'm just going to put that, oh yeah, that's really pretty. I'll just put that right there. And we haven't used our other bit yet. I need to get cracking. Get a move on. Okay, cute. No label on that one. And now we've got this bunny. And I'm going to put... So as I said, you can collage. Or if you've got pieces of paper like this, just stick these down for something different. that now I need to do this bit before I forget you could also stamp in there or just leave it for writing whatever this is just my take on it okay and then we might have another flower I think these are lovely Maybe this purpley sort of one in the middle. I just I'm just doing a really whizzy fussy cut here. I'll stick that one on that side. Oh, I want to put those in there. Okay, next, the next job and the last job is <clears throat> we cut these out. So what I wanted to do with these was uh, get my crop crocodile, don't need my glue anymore, and the big hole, just punch it about there, probably punch all of them. And then I'm going to put tied on there. So, and I'm going to use, I might use this navy blue baker's twine. I need good scissors to cut that. Oh, you know what? It's not going to work. I have to punch my hole right the way through, like I did in my sample one. I'll tell you why but then the way you tie it you think oh then you won't be able to open it but you will be because I'm not going to I'm going to tie it in such a way that you will be like I'm just going to tie it like this loosely and then it'll be able to be opened so I'll just go like this like so so you do get a bit of a knot there that just hangs down and look you can open it and you can put something in there. So that's my idea. It's a bit, bit of a wacko idea, but I liked it. Something different. And that just hangs down. So that's the first one finished. So, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, yeah, I do have to punch the hole. I, I thought I didn't have to, but I do have to. I tried to get away with not doing it, but I have to, I have to punch the hole. So we'll do that. In which case, punching the hole, you can glue this on first and then you punch your hole. Makes life a lot easier. You miss a step. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay. So let's see. Now this one, I need, yep, that needs to be open there. This one will be fine because there was plenty of space there. Just so long as this is open here. 
like you don't want to have a closed hole there otherwise you won't be able to open it all so i'm just checking and that's fine as well and i could actually just snip off a bit more here on all of them so then we don't have any problems that one's fine Okay, so on this one, I'm going to put, I did that one on that one. Let's do this one then. So I need to put my hole in. I'm not cutting my string too long because I don't want it to be too long. I mean, you could cut it longer and then trim it off so you don't have to fumble around like me. I thought this was a fun, cute little thing to do. Good thing I didn't try and do more than five, although I haven't been rushing. I've just been enjoying it. I didn't want it too long also because then I don't want that to hang right down. I, I don't, I'm quite happy with it hanging there. Just, and if you use a thinner string, a thinner baker's twine, because you can buy thinner ones, not so thick, then it would even be even less bulky. Maybe we'll use the stripy one for this one. Something different. And I'm going to do this one here. It would be more time efficient if I were to punch their holes all together, but anyway. One cute. Okay, we'll look at them afterwards. We'll admire the handiwork afterwards. And we might do a stripy one on this one as well. I might just cut a little bit longer so I'm not fumbling so much. And I'll do this together. Let's do it together. Okay, doesn't matter. They're both the similar type anyway. And you could cut all your lengths of your baker's twine all together and at the same time. Okay. Great, so that one's done. And then one more. And we'll do this one with the navy. No, we'll do it with this because I've got another one. I'll show you the, the, the sample. It's the same as what I've done here. But I, was, I did try one out just to see how it worked. Okay, and that just hangs on my... Just pull that a bit tighter. Could be something that you just clip into a journal and take out just because you've got that lumpy bit there. But isn't that cute? I really like that. So the time is going to go. It's like one minute. We've got one minute and a half, so I'm not going to start another one. So I'll just show you what we've done. So I've got this one here. And you can slide something in there without untying it. So that's what you want to make sure of if you're going to have it with the tie. I thought about, you could even just, if you wanted it to be a little bit less bulky, you could even, oh no, if you do the eyelet, then you can't open it. You don't want to do an eyelet. You need to have a string. So then you can open it like that. So that's the first one. Aren't they cute? That's the second one. Can I open that one. I like that with the little stamping on the inside as well. So we need to use our stamps and then this one here the glassine so that'll be really fun because you'll be able to see whatever goes inside there 
this one. The bunny, cute, such a cute bunny. And then you can open that one as well. And then the other bunny here with the flower. And then, oh, this was the original one that I made, that one. And I put a little flower in there and that paper there. So there we go. So that's my idea. Eight seconds to go. I'll let you hear the thing go. So I did five. Really like those. There we go. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Something different. Oh, so yeah, part of my challenge is to do some things that we normally do because I need them and some things, I think I really like that stamp with the botanicals and some things um, maybe that are different things that we haven't done before. Well, I haven't done before. You guys might have done them before. Yes, I thought that's just a little bit of fun. There we go. So thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.